as the sun slowly began to set behind the towering mountains, Kyoko, the oni girl, let out a content sigh. She had been guarding the ancient shrine on top of the mountain for hundreds of years, ever since she was bound to it by a powerful cleric. In the beginning, people used to come to the shrine to pay their respects and seek blessings, but with time, they had forgotten about it and the shrine had fallen into ruins. Now, there were no more humans coming to the shrine and Kyoko's existence may seem lonely, but she had come to enjoy the peace and quiet that came with her solitary life. But everything changed when a young woman in a pink yukata started to visit the shrine. At first, Kiyoko was annoyed by her presence, she wanted her peace and quiet to return. But as the days passed, she grew more and more irritated by the woman's constant visits. The woman would come every day and rest under one of the old pine trees, completely oblivious to Kiyoko's presence. One day, as the woman was resting under the tree, Kiyoko decided to teach her a lesson. If the woman wanted to rest so badly, Kiyoko would forcefully put her to sleep. She was a mischievous oni before being bound to the shrine and had once stolen a bottle of chloroform from a traveling medic as a prank. Little did she know, it would come in handy one day. Kiyoko didn't have a handkerchief or cloth, so she poured the chloroform straight onto her hand and rubbed it in. Then, with a sly grin on her face, she snuck up to the resting woman and covered her mouth and nose with her hand. The woman tried to struggle and free herself, but Kiyoko's strength was too much for her. Kiyoko used her body weight to hold the woman down, pinning her arms to the ground. She then used one hand to cover the woman's mouth and nose, making sure there was no escape for her. The woman tried to fight back but Kiyoko was relentless. She put all her strength into keeping the woman subdued, until she finally fell into a deep sleep because of the chloroform. Kiyoko let out a wicked laugh as she watched the woman sleep peacefully. She had been so annoyed by her presence, but now she felt a sense of satisfaction. She stayed close to the woman, waiting for her to wake up. And when she did, Kiyoko was ready. As the woman opened her eyes and tried to move, Kiyoko quickly covered her mouth and nose again, forcing her to sleep once more. She did this multiple times, relishing in the woman's struggles becoming weaker each time. The woman tried to beg Kiyoko to stop, but her muffled voice couldn't be heard through the oni's strong grip. Even if Kiyoko could hear her pleas, she wouldn't listen, she was determined to teach this intruder a lesson. The poor woman was dazed and confused, not understanding why this was happening to her. Finally, after forcing the woman to sleep multiple times, Kiyoko let her go. The woman was dazed and groggy as she stumbled away from the shrine, never looking back. Kiyoko shouted after her to never return. Kiyoko breathed a sigh of relief as she watched the woman leave, enjoying the silence and solitude once again. As the days passed, the woman told her story to others, and soon, no human dared to visit the old shrine at the mountaintop. For Kiyoko, her solitude had been restored. She could once again enjoy the peace and quiet of the mountain, knowing that no humans would disturb her. And as she sat perched on top of the ancient shrine, she smiled to herself, knowing that her mischievous oni nature had come in handy once again. From that day on, Kiyoko continued to guard the ancient shrine, but now with a newfound appreciation for the solitude she had been granted. She knew that she would never be alone as long as the shrine and the surrounding forest were under her care. And as for the woman in the pink yukata, she never returned, but story about her encounter with the oni girl was remembered by humans for generations. A warning to all those who would dare to disturb the peace of the ancient shrine on top of the mountain.